And it's not just these Senate races, ladies and gentlemen, that are close across the country. You have governor's races with Republicans incumbents that are this close, with Democrat incumbents that are this close. There's no incumbent in Maryland, but the Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown is running in that race. People thought the Democratic nominee would have a shoe in, right, to succeed Martin O'Malley. Michelle Obama will be campaigning there today because they're worried trying to get African Americans to turn out in Baltimore. Why so many races so close, regardless of sort of the party dynamic in any individual state? Well, I think a lot of it comes down to Democrats have run solid races across the country in a lot of these gubernatorial contests. Mary Burke in Wisconsin. Uh, you have uh, the Tom Wolf in Pennsylvania. He's running a strong race. But the president's poll numbers make almost all of these contests volatile. I, I think you've got to watch Larry Hogan in Maryland. His campaign's being run by Rush Schrieffer, who helped run Mitt Romney's campaign. It's really a top-notch national operation. No one's really been paying attention to the Republicans in Maryland. He could have an upset. And I really have my eye on Wisconsin. Does Scott Walker, this 2016 contender, survive in a tough year? Well, and the other thing that Brown is facing is O'Malley has his um, numbers in, in Maryland have been dropping, and he's very closely tied to O'Malley. So that has been a drag on him as well.